Hey everybody, welcome back to the Manga Geekdom. Today we're doing the March Manga Haul 2023. Waited a bit, got some packages delayed, but here we go. The first one on the list here is Ayashimon Volume 1 from Yuji Kaku, the same mangaka from Hell's Paradise. This one I really enjoyed. It's a shame that it got cancelled, but at least we're getting it physically. That's awesome. This is a story about a young kid who is unusually strong and he's a huge manga otaku nerd and one day everything changes for him when he meets the character of Hudara. She is a kind of an Oni Ayashimon or a Yokai and she's being chased by a Yakuza gang. So the two meet and they're off into this wild and wacky world, the underbelly if you will of society with uh, gangs and spirits and yokai and all that fun stuff. I'm trying to be as vague as possible, but the series is a lot of fun, and I do recommend it even with the short chapter run. Next up is Wave Listen to Me, Volume 9 from Hiroaki Samura. The main character in this series works in the radio business like myself, but the comedy and situations that happen are on point and the art on this is just spectacular. A lot of people will reference things like Blade of the Immortal as some of his best work. I kind of prefer, artistically speaking, this for its subtlety and quiet moments. So yeah, bit of a hot take maybe? I don't know, but both are great stories. I just kind of prefer this over uh, the other. Next up is the Pokemon Adventure series. Here we have Heart Gold and Soul Silver all two volumes of this mini-series, and I've been patiently waiting. I have the first 10 collector's editions, sort of. I have half in box set form of the original, and the other half in the uh, actual three-in-ones. So I've been patiently waiting, hoping that they would announce more, and by that I mean Viz. Doesn't look to be the case. I mean, it, everything could change. We could get an announcement this year, or next year, or whatever it may be. But yeah, essentially I got tired of waiting, so I'm going to start picking up uh, the rest of the series. And I am looking to get the Gen 4 box set soon, and we'll continue my read-through from there. So this is a fun story. Here we have Yokohama Kaidashi Kiko, Volume 1, the Deluxe Editions, published by Seven Seas. This came out back in August 2022, and I pre-ordered this book from Right Stuff at least two weeks before the release date plenty of time to secure a copy. Unfortunately, when it came out, uh, everything else shipped and I never got this book. It went out of stock pretty quick, if I remember correctly, and I've had to wait for so long. And finally, March 2023, it shipped out and I got my copy. I've never read this series, but I am super happy to have this. Uh, it's something that I've been intrigued by for a while. And the fact that we're getting these big deluxe editions for a pretty chill slice of life series like this is great. I talked about Hiroaki Samura with Wave Listen to Me earlier. Here is his other series, Blade of the Immortal Deluxe Edition, Volume 8. Now I have to admit, I've only read one of these deluxe editions. I'm waiting to get the whole thing and do a, a full read-through of this legendary series. So I can't really gush too much about it, except just marvel at the amazing art, as is expected with Samura. Another Dark Horse book here is Berserk Deluxe Edition Volume 13 by the late Kentaro Miura. When I was first planning out this haul video, I had no idea that, yeah, this was supposed to be the last one for a while, and then we got the surprise announcement that Dark Horse is going to do Volume 14 in November of this year and will include Volumes 40 and 41 along with the guidebook which will end the tenure, if you will, of Miuda's work on Berserk. Eventually down the road we might get that Volume 15 with Studio Gaga and the production crew and all that stuff working on the new material with 42, 43, 44, etc, etc. So for now, this year will be the last one where we get deluxe editions for Berserk. Excited to own this. I think it's about time I do another read-through of Berserk and maybe do proper videos on it. I made one at the start of my manga tubing career and I never uh, continued with that. So I don't know, maybe I'd like to do an updated take on my thoughts 
for Berserk and what the book means to me. But that's not all things Berserk. Here is volume 41. Now, this is pretty interesting. As you can see here, me flipping this book open, the poster is shut. I can't open it, and I'm afraid of... Uh, ripping and tearing the poster off so I don't want to do that I'll just leave it alone but this is super bittersweet this is the last material that Muta worked on there's a natural stopping point here where it's such an emotional send-off especially when you know that the author passed away that makes it much more impactful and the way this book ends is a thing of beauty in my opinion Next up is level one demon lord and one room hero. And I am impressed. I don't know what it is about Tofu's art. It has a, a certain charm to it that I really like. So if you don't know what the series is about, we follow a demon lord that has been defeated by a brave warrior and now he is destined to rise again. I think it's like a decade later, the demon lord returns and things are very different. Our hero is a slob shut in and the world has progressed steadily compared to when he was alive. So it's a comedy series with action elements. I'm gonna check this out and uh, read on and let you guys know in a later video what I thought of it. The Tunnel to Summer, The Exit of Goodbyes, Ultramarine Volume 3. Finally got my hands on this. I love the premise for this series. Essentially a slice of life meets supernatural sci-fi storytelling with possible time traveling. The characters are well done and I love the art style on this. It is super unique compared to everything else out there. Call of the Night Volume 11. Now I'm not up to date so I can't flip through this for too much. I don't want to spoil myself, but I love this series. Nazuna is one of my favorite characters right now, and I just love the art and story in this. I'm not a vampire guy, but for some reason, Call of the Night hooked me. Dinosaur Sanctuary Volume 2. This was one of my favorite reads of last year, one of my favorite books that I got. Manga sensibilities with proper looking dinosaurs and good science. This is a lot of fun. Insomniac's After School from Makoto Ojiro. And it tells the story of these two kids that have trouble sleeping and other anxiety issues and drama in their lives. And they just happen to meet at the school's defunct astronomy club that has had very odd, bizarre, and creepy rumors about it. And now they just find this chill spot to hang out, be at peace and stay quiet and catch some shut eye. Unfortunately, just these two characters using it for that reason isn't enough and the school doesn't take a liking to that. So now they're going to set up the official astronomy club back at this school. Beast Complex Volume 2. I love Beastars, one of my favorite series from recent memory, and it's awesome to get more stories because the world that was created was so interesting that it's only natural to have this anthology series to examine more characters and more snapshot moments in other creatures' lives here. That time I got reincarnated as a slime, volume 21. Holy crap. 21 volumes of slime. I really need to get back on track with this. I love the art. It is one of my favorite things about it. Also the characters and the world building and all that stuff. But this one is sort of what kicked off the, the renaissance for uh, modern isekai in my opinion. And I do think it's a worthwhile read. Box of Light Volume 2. So happy to have this. I loved the first one. I didn't know I was going to have more volumes. This story is a pretty chill slice of life, but also kind of supernatural-esque. It deals with the people working at an unusual convenience store that is at the border between life and death. Highly recommend checking out Box of Light Volume 2 or Volume 1. It's okay. Get both. Finally, to close off this manga haul, we got Tombs by Junji Ito, another hardcover story collection. And I think aside from the other two books that are solicited, we are nearing an end to published material when it comes to Junji Ito. So I don't know what this is going to do once we have everything collected and they can't pump out more Ito books. 
but regardless this is awesome super excited to have another one and if i may this green spine and all this motif and all that stuff with tombs i think it's a missed opportunity and this book should have been a glow in the dark edition for the anime side of things here are the two season sets for dagashi kashi from one of my favorite mangaka right now kotoyama the same creator of call of the night the manga is unlicensed at the moment. I don't know when we'll see that, but I hope it does happen. I think with the success and popularity of Call of the Night, it does have a chance to get picked up. And to wrap up this video, we got Mononoke finally releasing stateside and we got a region one release thanks to the folks at Discotech. This series, if you don't know, is a spin-off from Ayakashi, Japanese classic horror. There was an arc in that series called the Bakaneko story arc, and it introduces the character of a medicine seller as he deals with various spirits or mononoke in feudal Japan. This is another wonderful, artistically heavy series. Highly recommend checking it out. It's a thing of beauty. Super cool to finally have this in physical media. So there you go, guys. This was the haul for March 2023. A lot of fun. If you guys want me to review a specific thing that I got here, let me know in the comment section down below. Or if not, let me know what you got in the month of March. Pretty excited to find out as well. Thank you everybody for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of the family here at the Manga Geekdom. I truly do appreciate it. Thank you all so much for supporting this channel. I've got to go. Thank you everybody. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.